Now this question we're asked to integrate 4y plus 3 to the power minus a half with respect to y. And I can think of two ways of doing this. One we could just do it by recognition or failing that we could do it by substitution. And I'll show you how to do both methods. But first of all we've got a linear function here to a power so we can do it by recognition. Essentially it's going to be 4y plus 3 and we just add 1 to the power minus a half which is going to be to the power half. And what I normally do for something like this is I then differentiate this, see what I get and I adjust the constant in the front here to compensate for what I have. I will show you. Let's suppose I say let x equal 4y plus 3 to the power half. 4y plus 3 to the power half. Then if I was to differentiate this with respect to y, I'd have dx by dy equals, and I'd need to use the chain rule. So I would get a half out the front, drop the power on the bracket by 1, so that would be 4y plus 3 to the minus a half, and now we multiply the, by the differential of the inside of the bracket, which will be just simply 4. So what I end up with is half of 4, which is 2, multiplied by 4y plus 3 to the power minus a half. Now can you see that if I was to multiply through by say a half, because this is a constant I can do this, if I put a half there then that half is going to be in there and it's going to be in here and then half of that 2 is just going to leave me with 4y plus 3 to the power minus a half. And I can do this purely because I can multiply by a constant. Okay? That's allowed. So what I have is the integral of this must have resulted from differentiating a half, 4y plus 3 to the half. So I can put a half in there. And don't forget your constant of integration plus c. So that's how I would do it by recognition. Now I did say that you could do it another way, which is by integration by substitution. And if we we're integrating this function of y, okay, with respect to y, then it's the same as integrating f of y, as long as we multiply it by dy by du and integrate with respect to u now. It's as if these du's cancel and we get exactly the same result. So to do substitution, let's just put that integral back down again. The integral of 4y plus 3 then to the power minus a half integrated respect to y. So I've got my function of y, so this is going to be the same as the integral of that function of y. So we just pop it in there, 4y plus 3 to the minus a half. But I need to introduce a substitution. And I'm going to let u equal the 4y plus 3. So we'll just border that off, OK? And we'll border that off there. So if I was doing the substitution, I would let u equal 4y plus 3. And I need to get dy by du. But I can get du dy straight away, OK? And then I'll be able to reciprocate that and get dy by du. Because du dy, if we differentiate this, is just going to be simply 4. So therefore, dy by du must be the reciprocal of 4, which is 1 quarter. So I can write 1 quarter in here for dy by du, and I'm integrating with respect to u. But it's still got y's in, and we need to change the variable completely over to u. So this, fortunately, happens to be u, 4y plus 3. So it's going to be u to the power minus a half multiplied by a quarter. Well, I'm going to take the quarter out the front, because it's a constant. And then I've got integral with respect to u. Now, I can integrate u to the minus a half 
because when we come to integrate this easy one we just add one to the power u to the half and divide by a half dividing by a half is exactly the same as multiplying by two and we'll have our constant of integration plus c now the two cancels into the four twice so we end up with a half here half of u to the half so if we substitute back the u as being 4y plus 3 we've got half of 4y plus 3 then to the power half and then plus c so the same result as we had up here obviously but one by recognition and one by substitution and it's up to you which method you pick but if you can do recognition for something like this obviously it's going to be quicker all right